evening. I'm Amber Schatz. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for joining us tonight. Okay, now that I have your attention, let's talk about the very interesting topic of history. What is history? Is it a point in time, an event that occurred in the past? Take, for example, the video clip of Will Ferrell on the local news. Is this considered history? There are two influential philosophies of history that have dominated modern times. The first is by Frederick Heigl. He believed that history has three parts, idea, thesis, and the antithesis. The mind takes the thesis and the antithesis and weaves them into a synthesis. Synthesis then becomes a thesis and the process repeats itself. Heigl believed in the absolute mind. People think rationally, without love or compassion. The second was by Karl Marx. He believed that the world was based around man's economic needs. Marx's interpretation is that history has purpose, whether people choose between resisting change or doing what is righteous. In many early societies, history was assumed to be the operation of the supernatural. Outside forces acted on humans and moved them like characters in a drama from scene to scene. It was believed that there was a preordained plan, and events in life followed this plan. In the modern world, history is most commonly used for religious reference and to tell the story of war. It seems that history continues to repeat itself. Take for example the Turkish massacre of the Armenians and the Nazi execution of the Jews. From the philosophy point of view, there are two essential questions about history. Does human history have meaning? And can we learn from history? But in the end, it seems that the only thing we learn from history is that we never learn from history.